involved in the whole thing. And this is where things started becoming much bigger. So um, one of the goals is to make available more than 2.3 million specimen records overall. <coughs> so that also meant that um, a database that was really focused on being a research database essentially and not one of these massive just entering data from all sorts of collections projects actually moved into that direction. So it became a lot, um, a lot bigger. Okay, um, the other thing um, where I wanted to mention too is similar to the B project is we have a, a mixed approach. So some of the collaborating institutions are using the Arthropod Easy Capture database. Some other institutions use their own. And again, this is sort of the importance of these data aggregators. So it would be Discover Life, but then also IDIG, the IDIG Bio portal. Um, that bring all that data together so you can download all the um, data from, from one single site essentially that have been captured for one, um, for, for one particular taxon. Okay, at the moment we have about half a million um, insect records um, added since the project started and half a million plant specimens, but I'm not going to be talking about them. So we're, we're working on it. So you might go like, yeah, that's all nice, that's what you're doing for your project, but you know, what can I do <laughs> with that? And this is a fairly new development, um, thanks to Katja Seltman, the um, um, database, she's made a database, um, um, all the source code and everything um, available on SourceForge Net, under projects and Arthropod Easy. So anyone who knows anything about MySQL, I'm not a person, so I'm not sure how well I would do if um, someone told me go and download that thing and try to you know, install it on your computer and try to run it. But two of my grad students have experimented with that and they think that actually it is fairly straightforward. If you have a little bit of basic background really on how to deal with databases, it can be done. So it's freely available now and everyone can use it. And then again, you know, the more you obviously know about MySQL, the more you would be able to customize it to your own purposes. Okay, and this is it for now.